Greetings, so we're trying to figure out how to use smart thinking here within the My Courses setting. Currently we're at the home page of this course. What we want to do is go in here to Course Content, click on that. Over on the left hand side, once this opens, there should be a link to smart thinking, which it's already clicked because we were in there a little bit earlier. And we click on smart thinking and it should take you directly to this page and then it will do its thing and get you through. It may actually ask for a username and password. Do not bother inserting that. It will eventually, or you can click skip, and it will go right on over to this area. So what you want to do is go to Essay Center, and this is where you actually will submit your writing to a tutor at this point. See, I can go in here and I can tell the instructor as they are called in here what course we're working with and name due date and then go on down and give them all the things we're interested in you know, the different what the assignment is and then choose your file insert it in there and then go ahead and hit submit and then within a 24 hour period they're supposed to get back with you to give you your to give you your return with your advice on how to correct what you have there and from there once your 24 hour period comes you should be able to go back into the area where it says personal archive and see what you have you then need to download that this is actually from a math thing. I don't have a, a true one. Basically, and then once you're there and you download your file from Smart Thinking, then what you need to do is you need to go back to the course itself. And for instance, here's where you go to the Dropbox and you take your file and the Dropbox is here. And for instance, if you're putting in here Dropbox for Smart Thinking eStructor Visual Literacy Essay. You're going to go here and you're going to go ahead and you're going to submit to this Dropbox here what the actual eStructor returned to you. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening.